The program to introduce nano-nitrogen liquid fertilizer imported from India to the farmers of Valachene Batiklo in the eastern province was carried out today as well. Representatives from the Agriculture Ministry and several experts from the Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative Limited, also known as IFFCO, that supplied nano-nitrogen liquid fertilizer took part in the program. <laughs> There is no need to wear separate protective gear. You can wear a mask if the wind is strong. Nothing else is needed. Nitrogen is safe. Tests have been carried out in 14 Indian agro-universities regarding this. This fertilizer has been tested on 94 varieties of plants on cultivation lands of 11,000 farmers. According to those results, we can say that the harvest increases. Five hundred milliliters of fertilizer is sold to farmers at two hundred and forty rupees in India. We do not have a say here regarding the price. That must be decided by the ministry. Uh, ministry will uh, decide. Only 20 to 30 percent of urea fertilizer is absorbed by the plant. Nitrogen is completely absorbed by the leaf of the plant. Urea could disperse with the wind. Water can be mixed with it. It can be consumed by animals like cows. We might also consume it. It is not good for our bodies. There are no such issues in nitrogen fertilizer. Worms will not be harmed. Urea kills worms in the soil. There are no damages. It is safe. Meanwhile, farmers of the area commented on the issues they face when using nano-nitrogen liquid fertilizer. They say they will give us one bottle per acre. Companies that manufacture nano-nitrogen say that the fertilizer will be useless if it rains immediately within 12 hours of applying and that it must be applied again. It rains every night here. We don't know if this will be successful. They don't have evidence of positive results of nano-nitrogen fertilizer. They are trying to test this in Sri Lanka during this year.